Well, as you can see, he doesn't have any feathers. And he has a skull underneath, uh, he's got a skull underneath his uh, head made out of foam. And I've got to figure some way of attaching the feathers. And I have to do it by pushing them into the skull. And so what I'm going to probably have to do is take a drill and, and drill the holes for the, uh, the feathers to go into the armature. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to work over the weekend uh, and today on feathers. Uh, there's going to be 32 all together in the headdress. And that's the, uh, that's uh, what they usually have for uh, a headdress. And so that's what I'm going to start uh, right now. So since I'm going to do this at home, I'm going to start cutting the armature for the feathers. And let's see, I'm going to need a marker. I'm going to start my feather uh, armature there and there and go down to there. So. That gives me some access for sticking into the head of the uh, warrior. Gently sticking it into his head. I don't want to hurt him. He didn't do anything wrong. So. First thing I need to do is Start cutting up the uh, baling wire that I'm going to use for uh, the uh, armature for the feathers. If I can find the end of the baling wire, it would really be sweet. Now, what I'll do is just cut off a, a bunch of this and use this. Now, I'm just going to show you on a couple of them. And then I'm just going to continue with camera off. Okay, this, this stuff is really messy stuff. Your fingers start looking really black after a while. But it's well worth it. Okay, that's number one feather. And let's do the... Uh, Make this the center feather. Yeah, that works. All right, I'm going to just continue cutting these out and uh, preparing to. Uh, can't you can't see it? There we go. <laughs> All right. The lovely time of making feathers one at a time. I know artists that uh, will make one feather and then they'll make a mold and then make castings in wax. That would be a good method, but for now, this is what I've got. Now that was flying. I gotta stretch this out. There we go. I got the uh, 32 uh, armatures made. Now I'm just going to straighten them out. I'm going to get this drawing here. So I'm going to make an armature for the uh, three. Chief feathers or center feathers. Set that over here. Center 
my feathers armature made. And I make the armature for the uh, secondary feather. And it will have a curve to it. There you go. Now it's just a matter of uh, bending all these wires that I've straightened out to match the uh, quill of the uh, secondary feather. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm flattening out clay. It's about maybe a quarter of an inch thick. That's still a little bit thick. But I plan to take off a lot of this clay, so I don't want to make it any more than that. And I'm going to add the uh, armature into the clay by just pressing it in and then just uh, forming clay over that armature. If all works out, I can lift this off and I've got a feather. That is really heavy though. That's why I usually do it out of wax because wax is so much lighter. I'm going to rethink that. I don't want to do all these and have it weigh two or three times what wax would. And the weight of all these feathers would eventually sag. All right, I know what I gotta do, and it's gonna have to be done tomorrow. I'm going to uh, get some wax. I'm gonna replace the clay with wax, and uh, start softening that up, and start making these feathers out of wax instead of uh, clay. So, not a good idea. I I did this before, and I forgot how heavy the clay is compared to wax. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for the day, and uh, I'm going to take all these wires, <sighs> set them aside, and wait for uh, the wax to soften up so I can work with it, and I'll do that tomorrow. So that's it for today, and I'll uh, see you guys uh, tomorrow.